Jonathan on a self-made millionaire. He's quite a guy. This is Mrs. H. She's gorgeous. She's one lady who knows how to take care of herself. crevices that hollowed and dragged about the ceiling in my room. And with tangles in my hair going out the window, you press the cold cherry can into my, into my palm. It's cold against my fingers, fueling this rush, drowning me in your loud music that's pushy and selfish, but now it's beautiful, because it's mine. Egging me on with this black, passionate night where you and I are attached, but not tied together. We scream over the open road, steel-faced and heavy-footed, but I tap the brakes when I want to with my feminine little toes. We got the merchandise, right? Right. Well, we need to dispose of it. Uh-huh. It was in the lake or something. Uh-huh. That's where you come in. Uh-huh. Business deal. Uh-huh. I see. Well, I don't know. It, it sounds awful risky. Uh, no risk in this reward. <laughs> Listen, Mac, it's all secure, right? Little business deal, you got it. All you have to do is go with the flow. What was that? A rather hacked up story. 
He almost never finishes. Who? Her? No, her. Who? The author. The author? What, what are you talking about? You are you, aren't you? Where am I? Right now? Nowhere. Because on these creative plane, she's brainstorming. Just a drizzle, really. Listen, <laughs> could you please tell me what's going on? It's that yes. I found another man. <laughs> <laughs> He's an architect from San Francisco. You? I'm Daddy. sorry. You're just not good enough for me. Daddy, oh, what's no, going no, on? No, no, please. I'm Don't. sorry, I have to go. Daddy! Don't Daddy. ever touch me like that again! Don't be so homophobic. Ugh. It was in the story. Open the door to the closet. We're all bisexual, really. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Is that all you have to say? Yes, that's all I have to say until I get a straight answer. Just calm down. Yes, calm. I'm going to sit and figure this out. You two are just figments of my imagination. Not <laughs> your imagination. <laughs> Listen, let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> All my life, you've been telling me what to do, how to do it, and when to do it, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Because we loved you, dear. We made rules because oh. we cared. And I'll uh, thank you and I am Full. If you cared one iota for your family, you would spend time with us instead of at the office. Well, let me just straighten one thing out for you, pal. I was at the office to make you more money, to put food in your stomach, and it seems like you don't need any more scholarship, boy. Maybe I should just leave you all right now. Who you all all the money you have to? I got you everything money could buy. And not one bit more. And that, sir, in your old age, is all you. Right there. Get the hell out. No, Gladly. no, no. Where was I going? I don't know. I've never been written out. <coughs> I think I'm beginning to get this, but wh why are there only three of us? Well, she can only handle three characters at a time, and then rotate them in and out of conflict. She's not really very creative. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe these storylines? It's freaking boring. I've become numb to it. I hate this one. How long did it take? Including that stupid story she wrote yesterday? One hundred. Uh, but listen, listen. Isn't there something we can do about it? Yes, but what is it exactly? I don't know. We've never tried. Can we, can, we, can you think of anything? I know. Just hold it still. <coughs> hold still? Alright. Hold still? Hold still? <laughs> no! No? No! You can't do that! Watch me! Stay back! I'll write you out! <laughs> I don't want to be here! You have to see this! Listen, quit writing these hackneyed stories. We're sick of these old plot lines. It's ugly. There's no such thing as a new plot. That's not true! Leave me alone! We can only do what you want us to do. Then why did you drag me here and show me this? <laughs> Fine. So what do I write about? UFOs, gumbas, people that can't God body, or, uh, uh, the, Beatles. Do the Beatles, the Beatles, nothing, plastic <laughs> surgery, nothing, nothing. Am I that bad? No. Well, yeah, yeah. That's not what I meant. They say write what you know. Which for you right now isn't so, that much. Climb mountains, watch caterpillars, write in a diary, just live. Then come back to Brian. We'll be here. Really? Yeah. It's repetitive style and idealized relationship. Kind of grow on you. And Ernest Hemingway's dead. So we'll stick with you. Great. So what now? Well, you're in a coffee house. Just sit down and watch for a while. Think. It's time for us to wait tables. Let's see. Who wants coffee? See you in Frankfurt. I'll get, get to it. it. It's the slam, it's the first round, and we'll are not as good as others. But not that they're not good, it's just the other two are better. This poetry contest is our very own God Body, Allison Tippins. <laughs> this is entitled God Body. <laughs> Revelation delivered while contemplating the purpose of my existence. I tried once to define poet, sprawled out in the grass as sun was setting, orange and blue glimmers dancing on the rooftops of nearby houses. A lone star laughed at me mockingly from trillions of miles away, knowing full well, even if I had the initiative to get up and chase it, a veritable infinity separated us. 
but I was too busy watching the world to notice its taunts. Encircled in the smoky thoughts and hazy lines of my surreality, I sighed deeply. I contemplated climbing back in the car and going home to sleep, to forget about my elegiac philosophies and hope that it didn't matter. On both sides stretched the blue phosphorescent lights of a makeshift landing strip. A thousand tiny spirits swaying to Mazzy Star in my car stereo, cloaked in the warm vapor of a night just born. Poet, one who possesses eloquence of expression and creative thought. Ridiculous dictates and definitions devoid of true meaning ran through my head, behind my eyes, in one monotonous string of thoughts, each path punctuated by a few words. What is a poet? What makes him any different or gives him a gift beyond what others possess? God? Well. Looking so innocent with your little green sachet, with all those little badges, cooking, basket weaving, why don't you get a badge for something useful like how to cope with date rape or divorce? <laughs> Girl Scouts of America, what a crock. You guys are just like politicians. Uh, you. for a whole freaking year, and then you show up because you want us to buy your stupid powdered cookies. Mid the lights in your brain. We all don't see through teddy bear eyes, you know. Midsummer mornings do, and the remnants of a midsummer mornings do. Doesn't excite me, sorry. You see, I don't take the time to write eight year love poems, eight year long love poems like you do. I know you think I'm a little too rough around the edges, because I don't, I don't allow love and poetry to make a fluffy marshmallow sculpture out of me. See, I have enough common sense to know that some things are too overused to write about. See, I don't believe that candles alter the physical realm and, and change the land in mystical ways like you do, like you preach. You see, because I'm BSing and I forgot my poems, so I gotta come up with. But this is oh, the next slam, alright. Looking so innocently, innocently. <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of you! stop my mind just because when you walk in you don't like what you find it's my god-given right to speak my opinions and I won't dare to stop just to please your political commissions we can say what we want and you can't stop it because it's written in truth and you can't deny it <laughs> what's right for me is wrong for you sing along boys and girls we <laughs> thanks so what? So what? I thought we lived in a melting pot where I could speak too. You're not going to take my mouth shut to call him a Jew because I am me and you are you. We are separated by just a rare few. Just because you're in office and I stand alone, it doesn't give you the right to breathe my mindless clothes. I express while you repress. I engage while you betray. Can't off. even stop or think without you fucking me out of break! Get the hell out of the bed, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, and you can't take it away? Potato, po potato, potato, po potato, 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 pot
play with you until you're dead. <laughs> this is a silly potato head. Mr. Potato Head is in my hair. His body parts are everywhere. His toes are up my nose and his eyes are in my underwear. But Mr. Potato Head does not care. Mr. Potato Head buckets of fun. I like to use you for my bong. And that is why I made this song for Mr. Potato Head buckets of fun. Mr. Potato Head is bent in space. He can also rearrange his face. He's an interesting fact I read. You can also eat Mr. Potato Head when you are near. I will say, Mr. Potato Head, you make my day. If you have listened to what I said, you know that I love you, oh crazy, crazy little potato, po potato, potato, po potato. Potato, 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 pot
<laughs> yeah, did I do that too? James, if you hadn't have broken this, it would have been so perfect. <laughs> oh, that's it, joke's over. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what goes there? Is it a gamba? A bagui? A puto pussy? Yeah! <laughs> a brick? A bat? A governor's club? <laughs> it's prom night, so slam the bitch in the back of the skull. Put her in a Saturday night ride. Choose intercourse. Ad lib a little bit. <laughs> Alcohol pours. One more drunken prep hits the floor. Koa. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Fingers clenched around the fantasy tuna roll. Swinging Dennis at the sound of innocent cries. Screaming. Don't you want the money to love? Don't you need the money to love? Don't you want the gum and a Don't you need some boozo boozy? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that was fecal matter happens. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get him fired, not me! <laughs> I apologize for anyone who was offended by that. I am a thousand green step low, and I am a diamond in place of snow. I am a sunlight in light and rain. When you awake in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds and separate birds. I am a soft star that shines at night. So do not stand on my grave and cry. If I told you that once, a long time ago, you were in my dreams every night. A sort of shadow figure since I had never met you, but still you were there. And the first time I met, I knew you. I recognized your icy voice that haunted my nightmares. Would you think it strange if I asked your help? Asked you, is it strange? Am I strange? Am I crazy? I don't know. But I have been writing a little less schizophrenically lately. Of course, I have been writing less altogether lately. It's not that I mind being a collaboration of everyone I've ever met. After all, what is creativity but uh, unconscious plagiarism? That, by the way, was fully and consciously plagiarized, as shall be much of the following. Like a lizard in love, really, clinging up in the corner, flicking simple expression off my tongue, trying really hard to find a little bit of pure me in all this chaos. And when I can't, I'm pounding and pounding and punching the wall to see if I can take the pain. Woo! Woo! Only, I don't think I would have called it pain. More like a gnawing, a hunger inside of me to the point where sometimes, I think about killing myself. <laughs> Disintegrating into a pile of hacked flesh to be served up loaf style to those of us who have yet to follow the growing trends of vegetarianism and pink hair. I suppose this hypercolor quality, this moldability in me, me, may be an internal problem. But I suppose I still am I, whatever that may be. I have sat on driveways in Wellington, Loxahatchee, Royal Palm Beach, and Asheville, North Carolina, <laughs> smoking Red's Newport's clothes and whatever else one may smoke while staring at the autumn, spring, winter, summer night sky. <laughs> Nights where the stars have fallen, but the sky is lit by some heavenly phenomenon. Laughing at the moon, Orion, or Phoenix, and wishing with all my heart, soul, mind, body, spirit, being that I could fall or fly away from here while staying forever exactly where I am. Say what I was thinking about, so. <laughs> Anyone can guess what that is, well. Ooh, it's not what you think. Ryan, don't make it sound too nasty. Are, are, you, are you ready? Yes. Any time of the day, you know it will last. Cause you warm my hand with your roundy beef blast. I can feel your size. Yes, I can feel the taste. I love it when you 
trip all over my face. <laughs> the salty flavor. That creamy cheese. I like to swallow you whole. Then I'll fall to my knees. Look at Jason. The zest and the thrill. It's that ultimate rush. When I give you that squeeze, oh, no. you know that sauce starts to gush. <laughs> so what can I say? It's the heavenly body I hold. It's my Taco Bell burrito. <laughs> Your taste is so bold. I just announced it now. I'm sure that that was all in good taste. It was October down in St. Louis town. We heard that free bird had fell to the ground. We all said a prayer before we went down to play. Bonnie, my buddy, above all the rest, I miss you the most and I loved you the best. I won. It's funny because I won. The winner is Emmanuel! Yeah! Not really! <laughs> I'm just gonna moon you! I could, I can't see anything! It's at my moon! You won for a second now. Oh yeah, there were two of us. Alright, the results are in! Says, the paper plate says, um, uh, that means they had to think about it. This is, is a piece dedicated to someone very special to me. Thank you. Who, you're welcome. But I'm sorry, not you this time. That's cover you. But ode to she who hums sonnets to sunset mists, who flits through stars by moonlight, who touches my heart and lifts my soul, who sucks. <laughs> Allison sucks. <coughs> Al sucks, Bong, right? <laughs> no, think twice before you boo it. We've all heard her stuff so long, it's time that I poo-poo it. She writes her poems and shouts, creation! It's talent, it's skill, it's verbal masturbation. <laughs> oh, poor Allison. She always, she naps all the time. She's always lazy. And just because she's quiet, does mean she's crazy. She likes to think she's Brian. She wears his silly hat. And if you think I'm lying, should have neutered that stray cat. Oh. <laughs> a little ID problem, but it's her only complication. Uh, except for her... Oh, uh, let's see. Schizophrenia, ADD, narcolepsy, manic depression, anorexia, logomania, multiple personalities, uh, aerophobia, uh, trichotillomania, oh, no, wait, I'm sorry, that's Lisa, Lisa Polikoff. Um, <laughs> gender confusion, codependency, and oral fixation. But no. What she lacks in presentation, she compensates with some... Um, um, she compensates... I, I know this, really, I do. She compensates with, um, with memorization. <laughs> She professes love for Files of X, but really just wants to see Scully get sex, and <laughs> if you peek in Allie's folder, you'll see her pics of Agent Mulder. <laughs> As for looks, Al's no hottie, although she does oh. have that uh, 
God, body. <laughs> Alas, I cannot have her. She is no hooker, though she does those favors for Mr. Zucker. Miss <laughs> uh, Al sucks bong, and if that's true, I wish that I could suck bong too. This is the end, my only friend. This all must end. Everything must end, my friend. If only it had been a slow fizzle, a fading away, unexplainable because it didn't need explaining. A slow death, subtle deterioration, gentle, mellow, easy. But not this, no, not this. Not this wrenching, tearing, horror, this fear, this frustration, these regrets, this word alone. Echoing with every second, every pocket watch tick of a final one night stand. Time explodes deafening and trails into a solemn, pensive darkness as a spark star pinpricks of love, hope, and future dwindle and flicker and suffocate in the numbing warmth. <coughs> so like the womb, so like death, so finally alone. It's so much more fun, so much more memorable to have to be dragged out kicking and screaming, no, don't you understand, I love you. Then to just say, all right, I won't try to change your mind, but just know that my love is here. Everything ends. This all must end, my friend. In silence, she scribbled a note, thinking these are the words he'll remember you by. Rationalize. Explain to him what happened. Explain the inexplicable, dignify. But there's no dignity to running out with a bag over your head after a bad performance. Screw dignity. She left a note taped to the bathroom window. Typical, but apropos. It's been a hell of a lot of fun, but I have to fly. I'll remember you always. Goodbye. See, I'm the queen of the coffee house.